Welcoming back to MSD Learning World. In this video, we are going to see some of the designing of NFE Epsilon machines for the regular expression. We have already seen the video for creating the NFE Epsilon from the regular expression by using Thomson's construction method. We have seen the theorem as well as we have seen in another video for solving the problems also. But I want to make you with a better understanding when the given regular expression is very large. So we have seen for a smaller regular expressions like r equal to a plus b, r equal to a star plus b star like that. So now let us have a chance, an, an opportunity to see some of the NFA epsilon machines for the difficult regular expressions also. So that you may be able to create NFA epsilon machine even though you have a very difficult regular expressions or a regular expressions which is having more than all the operators. So let us design an NFA epsilon for this regular expression r equal to a a star plus b b star the whole closure. So now here whenever as I have already said you should have a clear planning before you start creating the NFA epsilon. So before you are creating it you must see for which regular expression you are going to give the priority first. You should consider the operator you should consider the parenthesis and you should consider all the three operators. So now while you are constructing the NFA epsilon for the union operator, you have to make sure that which is going to be on the top and which is going to be on the bottom. So now we are going to draw A, A star to be, the, to be on the top, then B, B star to be on the bottom. Then for that regular expression, we are going to make a union. Then entirely you are going to have a closure. So this is what is our plan now. So now what we are going to do is we are going to create A star first and which is going to be on the top. So for your A star create a regular expression for initial and final state with the A and a new initial and a new final with epsilon transitions accordingly. Already we have seen in the previous video so you can easily go through and you can understand how I am drawing. This is what is A star. Now you want to have a A. So for A, you can easily have one initial uh, which has a transition for A. So this is now A into B star. Similarly, you create for B into B star. So for B star, create first for B. Then you must create for your B star. So after creating your B star, you must make all the epsilon transitions accordingly. If you have any other doubt, you can see the previous videos. Now, this is what is B into B star. So, A, A star, B, B star is created. Now, for this entirely, you must make an union. So, within initial and a final. From final states, you should have one epsilon transitions accordingly uh, by using the Thomson's construction rule and from initial to the initial state have. This is what is A, A star plus B, B star. Now, with the new initial and a new final state, we are going to make an entire closure. From here, and this is going to be the initial state epsilon from the new initial state to the new final state epsilon transition and from the final state to the initial state have one epsilon transition and start numbering the states from the top then move to the bottom. So when you are numbering the state you must make with a clear understanding and you do not forget to make this initial and final. So this is what is the entire automata for the given regular expression. Now let us see a one more example also. So which is having a difficult um, operators. So now this is A star plus B star plus A A plus B B. So now this is entirely is R1. This is entirely is R2. So now this entirely is going to be on the top. This A A plus B B is going to be on the bottom. For that we are going to make an another plus. So how are you going to make? So make this A star now. So A star has to be on the top. And this entire A star plus B star has to be again on the top. So you have to pre-plan it before you are creating the entire automata. So now create for A star. So for your A star, you will have A. And you will have initial and final accordingly. You are going to create for A star here. So now this is what is A star. So now create for B star. So you will have B star with the new initial and final and the epsilon transitions has to be made accordingly by using the Thomson's construction. So now this is what is A star. 
plus b a star is there b star is here now you should make a star plus b star so for that you should again create a new initial and a new final so now we have completed a star plus b star now this entirely is r1 null now our r2 is aa plus bb so aa plus bb has to be on the bottom where aa has to be on the top so for creating aa it is easy for you to create aa by concatenation so separately draw everything and just to make a even if you want you can make an epsilon transition in between this aa also and now you start creating for bb which has to be on the bottom now you have to create aa plus bb so create a new initial and a final state and have an epsilon transition so now this is what is entirely r1 this is what is entirely r2 now for this we are going to create union so for that union make a new initial state and a final state and this is going to be our final state so with the epsilon transition and from the initial state have an epsilon transition from the final state have an epsilon transition and this is going to be the initial state now this is what is a star plus b star plus a a plus b b now start numbering the states you have to complete the numbering of the state for the top then for this 11 then you start numbering from 12 13 then you come to bottom of this automata i think you understood the rules for creating the states and this is what is the nfa epsilon machine for the given regular expression r equal to a star plus b star plus a a plus b b i think i have given a two videos for designing the nfa epsilon machine automata machine for the regular expression by using the thompson's construction method i think you will be very familiar and you would understand whatever be may be the given regular expression you will be able to draw the nfa epsilon machine i think you understood if you want to design any nfa epsilon machine for specific regular expression you can just comment me on the channel do not forget to like share and subscribe the channel thank you